It's always fun to win a ribbon at Houston. Just ask Pat Holly. Yay! I'm so excited. So this incredible quilt is called Turkish Treasures. Tell us about it. So this quilt came from um, my ins being inspired by my trip to Turkey a few years ago. And I took lots of pictures. We went to Top Copy Palace and the Blue Mosque. And I mean, I, we just saw the most amazing things. And this is 100% silk fabric, silk thread. And um, somebody asked you when we were waiting, how long did it take you? I worked on it for a couple of years. Persistence, yeah. right? Well, it's a labor of love. I'm not about how fast I can get something done. And I do all aspects of, this, of my quilts. I design them. I draw the drawings. My uh, technique needs a drawing for the fusible applique. And I love doing that part. And then I do the stitching all by myself. It's a little blanket stitch around all the applique pieces and I do my own quilting on my home sewing machine. So. Okay and so this is again all silk and then you face the silk with something and the thread is? I use silk threads and some machine embroidery threads depending on the color basically and I, they're fine threads so I use a smaller needle, a 70 needle and um, and in the bobbin, I like to use something called bottom line, which is a fine thread. Right. That's mm -hmm. a 60 weight, right? Yes. And then I can put lots in the bobbin. Right. Now, I want you to talk about, let's come over here. Here we go. I want to talk about the edging because this is just incredible. Okay. So when I was in Turkey, I saw some lovely ladies working on um, this thing that's called Oya, O-Y-A, and it's a needle lace. And it's kind of between macrame and tatting, but you use a needle. So I went home and said, I need to learn how to do this. So I bought a couple of books. And you know, it's difficult to learn to do that kind of a thing with a book. So I watched YouTube videos in Turkish. Uh, couldn't understand the Turkish, but I could see what she was doing with the thread in her hand. So that I learned how to do it. And I say this is sort of kindergarten level because they use much finer threads and they do these beautiful little three-dimensional flowers. So maybe someday I can be that good. Are you in on this, John? John's our, John's our professional cameraman. You gotta see this. It's, um, it's unbelievable. And there's little beads on the end too. So what happens at each one of these little aqua uh, triangles ends with a thread. So instead of just weaving the thread back in, I said, well, let's put a bead on the end first. It'll add a little bit of sparkle. So Pat, I am in love with silk, um, and I can take all the tips you could possibly give me. Okay, well a lot of people ask me that because their experience with silk is that it's very ravelly or wiggly. So in my technique, the background fabric is always stabilized with a fusible interfacing, you know, like what we put on our right. collars. Or and you have a, a, a stabilizer too that I've tested and it works great. Um, and then the applique shapes have a fusible web. So everything is very stable. Do you pre-wash your silk? How do you feel about that? I actually, I do because we don't always know where the silk is manufactured and sometimes there's excess dye left in it. So I carefully wash the silk. I use um, the same products that we use to wash our quilts or you can use an ivory. You need a very mild okay. detergent and then I hang them to dry. Perfect, thanks. Now I know that everybody would love to take this home and the answer is no, but you have a close enough. Share with us your close enough. So I worked with um, Linda Teufel, my dear friend at Dragon Threads, and designed this scarf with some of the elements from the center of the quilt. And I got to learn Photoshop to do that. <laughs> so, so where do you get this? Because it's limited. There's a limited supply. It's um, for, at dragonthreads.com. So do you have something up your sleeves for down the road, or did this just wipe you out? Oh, Alex, I'm always thinking of the next thing. <laughs> of course. Awesome. In fact, I, I'll give you a little hint. I took a class here at Houston with um, a lovely woman, and it was about understanding the symbolism in kimonos. So that's oh, awesome. Very good. Well, thanks so much for sticking around so we could do this, and congratulations. No, I, it's got to just feel like the best. It's, it's um, such an honor. There are so many amazing quilts here. Blue ribbon, blue ribbon, and the category was, is? Innovative applique. Okay. Hey, thanks, you guys.